we were playing. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. the villain and escape. The and villain, it looks like okay. the villain is playing Luigi. Luigi yeah. All right. So you can't up throw up air Luigi, which is the first thing I'm noticing here. I can't tell that. I can't tell whether we're all just like misspelling villain or if he actually means for his tag to be misspelled. There is definitely an I in villain. Yes. And when we put it down initially, it was I A N. So I'm like, is it villain as in his name is Ian? Because there, yeah, there's someone whose tag is Korean. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's one A N. Uh huh. <laughs> Not even I. So, right. anyway, escape playing Fox, taking him to FD. I I feel like in neutral, like Luigi thrives here, but once he gets popped up, he's kind of in a little bit of trouble. Luigi Although, also has a hefty chain grab on Fox. Okay. Absolutely needy. And I feel like uh, the Nair will kind of offset the problem of yeah. getting caught up. Like it shouldn't make as big of a difference against like a really solid fox who can move around the stage and get around that nair, but... This is definitely my stage of choice in this matchup. But it looks like it, this is some pretty <laughs> high-tier melee we have going on here right now, man. <laughs> Side Bs in neutral and all. Uh, yeah, and he, he's just trying to experiment with moves, figure out what is going to work, what's going to get him out of the situation. He, I bet he's thinking like, well, if I side B, then I'll move away from his follow-up, not realizing yeah. that the follow-up is going to be fast enough that he can recover and go back Ooh. and cover the other option. Gets chopped. He taunts! Nuts! Taunts, runs off the stage, and then tries to side B back. Yeah. This, yeah. Oh! You, you went really? up for the very disrespectful <laughs> up B. Woo! Oh, and he does not realize dead. that Luigi has no air steer. That's uh, pretty, sh pretty, pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting really a character switch out of this. I, I agree. I think he had a lot more character knowledge on the other characters that he was playing when we were playing friendlies. I think, I don't know. Like, if you if you can't wave dash, like Luigi is definitely not the character for you to be playing at a tournament. Uh. And he will have time to learn, so if he wants Luigi to be his character, I believe that he can do it. Uh, yeah, he does kind of get the idea of hovering in a space and putting out aerials or something. Yeah. Um, like, he knows how to just float there and wait. So that that is kind of a play style advantage that he has going into it. Okay, he goes back to his link. Steven! This, is, this was who he was playing. The layout! <laughs> this was who yeah, he was link. playing for the most part. Um, we've got... Link versus Yoshi. So this is some Sierra <laughs> Vista shit. This is uh, Nick Knight versus V-Man, right? <laughs> well, this is V-Man versus Smurfy. Oh, wait, never mind. You're right. I got my... Because Nick Knight plays Luigi and Marth. Yeah. And then Smurfy plays Link. Smurfy Vector Man is actually really hype. Like, there's some... <laughs> Uh, at the Lynx versus Stinks crew battle from, I think, an Apex a while back, uh, they ended up playing each other because Smurfy, everyone knew, was kind of the counter to V-Man. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I've also seen some other friendlies that they just recorded from home, and there's some really next-level stuff that those two are doing in that matchup. What happened to Smurfy? Uh, he lives in Sierra Vista, I guess, and he just, like, got too busy, didn't want to travel as much. I, I feel you. The Sierra Vista scene definitely did die, uh, and they're trying to revitalize it right now, and Smurfy has been attending a little bit. As that's what I've, I've been told, but definitely have not seen him out in a Phoenix or Tucson event in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely hasn't been to a tournament since I've been playing. Oh, that down tilt oh! got set knockback. So Escape almost got that uh, forward air meteor. Would have been nice. It doesn't even really seem like Escape is doing anything particularly special. It's just that he's kind of not doing anything dumb. Thing is that uh, the villain, being new to the tournament scene, is unfamiliar with the punish game. Uh, yeah. He doesn't know how to get the maximum out of every hit. And even if he were winning neutral the majority of the time, um, that lack of punish game is really not going to do many favors. I and do I, like that he's sticking uh, to the inside of the tree. That's a great defensive position yeah. to be in because he's a very high percent. And okay, well, oh, there it well, goes if away. He, if he gets sad on it, doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> I think 
Link is probably not the right character to be like fleshing out your punish game with. What I want is, I told him uh, earlier that he needs to be using more projectiles. Uh, first thing he did was shoot an arrow. I'm like, no, 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 no. Boomerang and bomb. <laughs> Stick to boomerang and yeah. bomb. Um, so I don't think he's of the mindset to be playing very campy. He's probably used to, he, he said he played a lot with his buddies, so he's probably used to the casual play style where you just kind of walk at each other and then see who hits each other. Right. Um, if he were to kind of play the runaway game a little bit more and throw stuff, I think that uh, Yoshi would probably have a little bit of trouble approaching that. I think so, because Yoshi seems to rely a lot on like counterplay to to kind of get where he's going. Uh, I'm not I'm not even sure if Escape really has like parry technology or no, probably really not. knows how to utilize double jump armor or anything. But he does have eggs to Ooh. throw, but I think that Link's projectiles are generally better. Yeah, I think eggs are just like easier to avoid. Uh, you don't have as much control over where you're going to be sending them. Like either. obviously eggs are going to be better off the stage like when you're ledge hopping, yeah. but with in, with regard to stage control and dune troll, um, definitely limits a lot more options to have the boomerang. Ooh. He's, he's throwing out the boomerang a little bit more often as well. Yeah. He's, yeah, That this looks like a legit thing until he, he uh, shot that arrow, but... Yeah, one thing I'm noticing is that uh, I actually gave him the advice at one point. Uh, I was on a platform above him, Ooh. so it was kind of a, a tech situation. And he uh, had the opportunity to just jump over me and hover in my space with a down air and like cover all of my options. So I told him, hey, in that situation, you could have covered everything by down airing. Um, I told him only to use it when he knew, knew it was going to hit. But I've noticed him using a whole lot more down airs now that uh, I told him about that. Yeah. So impressionable. I like it. <laughs> oh, there we Ooh, go. Learn. Oh, man. So we got a, we got we a got ball a game. game. <laughs> Run into the other side of the stage. The escape just comes and walks at him. That scary, boomerang like. did 16%. Oh! oh, no. Meteor cancel. Get dumpstered. We'll They're see you later. About it. I really like... Uh, I really like the villain's attitude. He's very positive. Um, he knew he was going to come here and get messed